This is about the island nation of Meridius and actually about its colonial history under Britain. So there are two important grammar points in this. First of all, just the simple split between the idioms, accepting for and accept in. Accepting for is awkward and not quite correct idiomatically. Accept in is correct. So accepting for, accepting for, those are just out. The second one is more subtle. It concerns run-on sentences. When we have noun and verb, and then just a separation of a comma, and then another noun and verb. So dogs bark, comma, cats meow. That's a run-on sentence. Because when you have two independent clauses, noun and verb, then another noun and verb, you need some kind of conjunction between them. So this one is wrong. It's what's called a run-on sentence. Now notice here what we have is we have noun and verb, Meridius was, that, that's a, a bona fide independent clause with a subject and a verb. And then later on in the sentence we have the English language was, that's also a bona fide noun and a verb. So we have two independent clauses and we need some kind of conjunction joining them. And so if we have the conjunction but, that is a proper conjunction joining them. Now with B and E, you'll notice if you read through the sentence, it's awkward because it doesn't have that conjunction. Meridius was a British colony for 200 years, except in the domains of administration and teaching. Well, wait a second, it was a colony except in certain domains of the island? That doesn't even make any sense. So B is wrong, E is wrong, and the only one that is correct is C, which has the correct idiom, it has the conjunction needed to separate the two independent clauses, it is by far the best answer choice.